first of all, thanks so much for making time from, from this interview. I know you are very, very busy. Well, my pleasure. I'm so, so excited to come and play the big festival. For those who don't know you, could you introduce yourself in a few words? Well, my name is Michelle Wright, and I'm a, a country singer from Canada, and I have uh, toured around the world and uh, had a great time making country music for, for a few years now. Of course, I have a record deal in Nashville and just have been able to make music for many, many years now, and it's been fantastic. As you said, you are originally from Canada. Yeah. Was it more difficult to start singing country music over there than uh, in the USA? Well, Canada does have a great country music audience and uh, full-time country radio and many concerts and festivals and things like that that we can do. Uh, so country music in Canada is, is just as popular as it is in America. Uh, but, uh, you know, it's a population of about 33 million in yeah. Canada versus 330 million in America. So uh, you will find that there's not as much of an audience because the population is smaller. But um, it is really important, if you can, to expose your music, if you are a country singer or a pop singer or a rock singer, to the world, if you can, you know. And certainly America is a very important part of, of a country music career. And I'm happy to know that there are some French audiences out there as well. Yeah? Yes, I'm happy to know that. I, I have toured uh, Europe uh, or across the pond or other continents throughout my career. I've been all over the world, Australia, Africa, you know, of course, uh, England and Ireland and Scotland and Germany. And I've traveled many, many uh places before, but I've not been to France, and so I'm very happy to know that there's an opportunity for me to come and meet the French singers and the French audiences and bring my music to you. Yeah, there, there is a first time for everything. Yes. Where are your influences in music come from? Well, my influences are very broad. I, I, have lis I listen to every kind of music, from country to pop to rock. To, uh, Motown is... Motown is very much a strong influence on me. So really, I really am very influenced by a lot of music. And I think if you listen to my records, come to see one of my concerts, you will see that I'm very influenced by a lot of different styles of music. And uh, our approach is kind of a rock country approach. You know, we take a pretty up-tempo rock and country approach to the music. So lots of influences. Okay. That's good. Yeah, I think so. How will you describe the country music that you play? Well, it's pretty, pretty. you know, I've, I'm kind of a, a, an up-tempo, you know, high energy. Uh, I like the show to be really a rockin' country show is how I like to call it, you know. I think it's got a, uh, it's real, uh, it's got a sort of country rock R&B flavor to it is how I would describe it. You love to, to melt a different style uh, in your music, rock and roll, country, R&B. Yep. yep, you know, I try to make my music from a very honest place, you know, from a, from a place that is real for me, that's genuine, and therefore I have to bring all of these influences in because I grew up listening to so many different kinds of... I, I mean, I think, I think the generation that you talk to today... The, They have their iPod or their, you know, and they listen to so many different kinds of music that I think we have an, uh, I think we have a very educated audience out there today that likes a lot of different kinds of music, and I'm the same way. And so when I make my music, it's definitely country. You will say this is country music when you hear me, but I try to, I just bring in other influences because it comes very naturally. All right. Yeah. I know you are also a songwriter. Yes. Could you tell us how do you write a new song? Well, I like to I like to write about life, you know, love and life and joy and pain and uh, how just life is really what songs are made from. And uh, uh, I like to just sit down and sit with my friend, my songwriting friends, or and we start talking about what's going on in our lives or what might be going on in one of our friends' lives or just the news or the world around us, and we just will write about life and 
and all the great things that come with life and the challenges that we face. And the love, of course, is always a great subject to write about. I love to write about love. Your last album is named Everything and More. Yes. What does it mean to you? Well, I have had, Shepard, I have had the good fortune to have a great music career, and my music career has brought me around the world. I've traveled on every continent in the world except for Antarctica, <laughs> and I have also seen many things in my life, many, many, um, I work with, uh, with an organization called World Vision, which is an organization that tries to help children get sponsored in third world countries. And so I've, of course, I've traveled around to Africa and to Honduras and seen many of the challenges that, that families are facing in their lives. So when I thought about everything and more, I, I guess I just feel in my life as a result of the wonderful career I've had and the many adventures that I have had. I have a wonderful husband. I have many great friends. Uh, I have a great family. I guess I just feel like I have everything and more. I, I'm very, very thankful for my life and my career and my family and the people that love me. Okay, it's the, it's a way to say thank you to your fans. Yes, it is. Oh my gosh, yes, it is, my dear. My, my fans are unbelievable. Just have been there to support me for, for so many years, and I'm looking forward to making new fans. Uh, are you preparing a new album? I just recorded my first live album. I just finished recording my first live album, so we're going to uh, we're going to put that together and get that out there. And I'm writing for a new record, a new uh, studio album. But I just finished recording my first live acoustic album, so I'm very excited to get that out out to the fans. Oh, that's a good news. Well, thank you. I, I think it's going to be good. You know, it's just me. It's an acoustic record, so it's myself and two of my band members. And we went out and did a bunch of shows and recorded all the shows. And uh, and it's a live audience, and uh, it's really, I think it sounds really great. So I'm very excited to get it out to everybody. You have won many awards during all these years. Do you have one special nomination or award that you are particularly proud of? Well, it is very difficult, Shepard, to pick one. You know, they really all have a very significant, they really mean something to me. You know, I'm very thankful for them. So it's hard to pick one of them, but uh, the first one is always very, very special. You know, the first time that I won Female Vocalist of the Year in Canada, uh, that was very, very special to me. And um, I won an award for a song, right, a song of the year that I wrote as well, and that was very, very special. Uh, I was the first Canadian to win uh, the Academy of Country Music Awards Top New Female Artist of the Year, and that was very exciting. So there's been a few that I really cherish. Okay. As you already perform in so many countries, such as Canada, Australia, and uh, the USA, did you ever imagine that one day you will have such opportunities as a country singer? Well, I think I was just naive enough to think it, that I could do this, you know. I, I think I was just crazy enough to think that I could maybe uh, make a career in, in music and travel around the world. I had this vision in my mind and in my heart as a young child that I could try to do this. And, uh, and to think that it has come true is really, is really something else to me because it's uh, very challenging. You know, there are so many, many talented people in the world that don't get the opportunities that I have had. So I think you have to believe in it. I think you have to believe that anything is possible. And then I think you have to work really, really hard to make it happen. <laughs> you will soon perform live in France, the 11th of July at Mirande for a country music festival. What does this event mean to you? Well, we're very excited to come, to come to perform uh, to, for the French people, to perform. This festival is a really big festival, and uh, we feel very privileged to be asked to come and be a part of it. And I'm just looking forward to seeing the other bands and hearing the other music and seeing how the fans will react to my music. Is any luck we can see you more in Europe in the upcoming years? 
I hope so. I hope so. That's that's part of the plan. I I toured Europe in the mid '90s, and then uh, now it seems that with the the internet and uh, and and everything that the European audiences are becoming a bit more familiar with our music. So I'm hoping that this will create opportunities for me to tour Europe more because we really love to come over to Europe and. And I've never been to France, so I just can't wait to come to France. I'm I'm going to bring my husband with me too, and he's all excited to be able to go to France and meet all the to meet the people. And so we hope to be able to tour more often. We sure do. Let's talk about your trip to Afghanistan in 2006 to perform for the Canadian and NATO troops. What this yeah. event mean to you professionally and personally? Well, it was very it was a life-changing experience for me. I I'm very thankful and to the to to our troops. Uh, I know this is uh I try not to be political because I don't know enough to be too political about this, but I just know that these are very very brave men and women. I admire them very very much and I know that by going over there and bringing them some music and some laughter and and we would sit together and we would have lunch together and we would have dinner together and we would hang out with the troops and just talk about home you know talk about just family fun things and just maybe take their minds off a little bit of the, the task that lies ahead of them and so it was incredible to meet the troops and there were I, I met troops from all around the world and I will do it again. I, we spent two weeks in Kandahar and Kabul, and uh, and it was really remarkable. The most remarkable was to be able to meet these troops and to just to be able to say thank you. You wrote in 2005, A Year in the Life, the journal of Michelle White, and you continue to write for a special occasion on your website. Would you love to be a, a waiter? Well, you know that for any of the any journalists or writers that may be listening, that's a big it's a big job to write, to do it well, and to uh, you know make it interesting. And so uh, I really found it to be quite an in fascinating discipline, and required a, oh a lot of focus from me to 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 write that book. I really enjoyed it. I would like to do it again. And so we're we're always thinking of ideas for me to be able to to do it again, but it's not a, it's no easy task. It's, yeah. It requires a, a lot of your time and a lot of your attention, and uh, it was a, a unique challenge for me. Yes, I know what you mean. I'm a journalist, so it's hard. It's, it's, it's you know, but it, but it's a. I guess it's kind of like writing a song. You know, you sit and you look at the blank page, the, the empty page, and you hope that you can come up with something interesting. So uh, uh, I do hope to do more of it. Okay, fine. What advice could you give uh, to someone who wants to become a country singer today? Well, you got. if you want it, you have to go after it. If you want to be a, in the music business and be a singer or a country singer, you got to get ready to commit 100% of your life and uh, be ready to work hard and uh, you know it does not happen overnight really it takes time to become an artist that has a career that they can depend on to pay their bills you know to pay your mortgage you got to work hard many sometimes today I find maybe some successes are happening a little quicker than they used to because of the of the of the fact that we this worldwide uh, outreach that we have to one another uh, through the internet and through television and and through so many ways now we can we can become familiar with one another a little bit quicker than than maybe in the good old days but it still requires a great deal of work and so if you've got a good work ethic and you've got the the fire in your stomach the fire in your heart to do it then you just got to get out there and do it all right. Yep. Each time I interview someone, I ask that person what he or she thinks about another person. In your case, it would be a country singer. So what Michelle Wright thinks about another top Canada female artist, Perry Clark? Terry Clark? Yes. I love Terry Clark. She's, she's great. She's great. She's a great artist. She's a great person. She's very, very funny. She writes great songs. Uh, we have had the chance to work together through the years, 
and she's fantastic. She's just a, one of my favorites, and I, I admire her, and I respect her, and uh, I'm very proud of her, and uh, she rocks. Yes. Yeah. I know that your favorite male country music artist is Kate Jordan. Yes. He's a good-looking, romantic guy. He's a good-looking, fabulous, fa yes. Yeah, great singer. But why is your favorite? It's, a, it's an easy question, I know. You know what? Not only is Keith in my, you know, most women I talk to, he's just very, very cute. <laughs> but not only is he really cute, he's just a great talent. You know, if some people, they have this talent that is is undeniable. It, 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 when he stands on stage and he sings, you are you are f affected by it. You feel his uh, his passion. You feel his love for the music and. So I think he's just a, he's a he's the real deal, as we say. You know, he is a genuine talent, and he is somebody that has worked very very hard and paid his dues, and uh, he's doing exactly what he's supposed to do because this gift that he has comes so naturally, and uh, I'm a big fan and I admire and respect his talent. So it's a great singer. Yeah, 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 and it's natural. You know, it comes from that place, that real place. For all the internet stuff, you know, MySpace and Facebook, many artists used to travel from club to club in order to pay the rent. Uh, yep. Do you think now that everybody can use the internet is the end of the era of traveling to one small club to another? Well, I, I played the clubs for 10 years before I got my record deal, and I played night after night after night, week after week after week, and that's what I'm talking about, about the kind of commitment that you have to make in this business to really, I think, make it happen. Now, in today's world, I don't know. I don't know how the young kids are doing it. I, I just really don't know if I have an answer to that because I'm not sure how does a young artist develop their skills. How do they decide if this is what they want to do? If you're sitting at your house making music, I don't know. Do you know by doing it that way that you want to make the kind of commitment that is required to be out on the road, away from your family, night after night after night? I wonder how it works. Uh, so I, I really still don't know how the kids are going to do it. This, these days, do, do you, are there clubs out there in France where the kids can go from club to club? It depends on which uh, style of music, you know, in country music, not so much, but uh, yeah. in work or also style, yes. Well, I think that's the best way to do it. You get out there and you, and you make it, you, you create your skills and you develop a fan base. And certainly, I, I believe the Internet is, is, a, is a good resource that's going to help create uh, certain benefits. And what that is going to be exactly, I don't know yet. I think the jury is still out for me. Yes, Internet can help sometimes. You know, I think of uh, Mirada Lambert, uh, who uh, is a great uh, country uh, singer. Um, yes. used to travel from club to club in Texas some years ago. But today you have Taylor Swift, which I definitely love her. And yes. I think she she just uh, comes from internet, you know, from MySpace or Facebook. Right, too. right. I think her her age group, like you're talking about, those te the teenagers are definitely, uh, I think, involved in the internet quite a bit. So I do think that we will see, you know, I, uh, that that internet is going to be very helpful. I think so. Yes, it's helpful to me too. I, I want people to go to my internet and or to my website and see what I'm doing, you know, it really helped me to stay connected to the fans in a much better way than I could before. Yes, I saw that you have a yep. website, MySpace, Facebook, and yes. you are on tour. So do you have time to sleep? I do. I, have a, I, have a, I do have time to sleep, Shepard. I, I have a good balance in my life. Some, day, some weeks are busier than others, and then... Uh, Oh, I just, I've been doing this long enough now to try and find a good balance in my life, you know? Yes. Yeah. There was a time when I was on the road about, uh, about 300 days of the year, so that was a different time for me. 
and uh, now I, I, I travel a little bit less, and I tried to have a home life a little bit, and a little bit of songwriting at, here in Nashville, and then go out on the road and travel, so I, I have a good balance. Okay. Is it important to stay connected with your friends? Yes. Yes. You know, I used to do, I used to hand write. I used to write letters to the fans from yes. my fan club. But now that I have the internet, I can send out every day something if I want and just stay connected that way. I think it's really important. I think they want to know what you're doing and how you're doing and what's going on. And I don't mind to share a little bit of that with the fans. Okay. The 1st of July is always a very special day for you. It's Canada Day. Yes. It's, it's, so your birthday. And my birthday. Yeah. Yes, I just had my birthday. So I know yep. I'm late, but in the name of all your fans in France, let me wish you a very uh, happy birthday. Thank you, Messi. What could we wish you now? A safe trip to France. That's ah. what we're hoping, a safe trip, and we look forward to coming to see you and sharing our music and uh, just ex very, very excited. Today is the 4th of July, uh, yeah. so let me wish you an happy Independence Day. Thank you very much. I'm here in Nashville. My husband is here, and we're going to enjoy the day today. And uh, I'm in my garden, actually, as we're talking. I'm just pulling, looking at the vegetables in my garden and pulling a few weeds while we're talking. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, can you say a few words to your fans? Well, I sure hope I have a few fans in France and, the, and list the people who are listening to your radio station. I'm very excited to come and to see you all and uh, just very appreciate the opportunity to have my music played on your, on your radio station and to have the fans listening. And thank you so much. Uh, Merci no. beaucoup. Well, thank you again. It was very nice to talk with you. I really, really hope that uh, you're going to enjoy this, uh, this tour in France. Yes, me and too. It's just, uh, just the beginning of a long, long yes, story. I hope so. I should learn how to speak more French, but I'm Polish. Uh, <laughs> I'm you... Polish. I don't, I don't speak much, too, little, bit, little bit, but not too much. I need to learn more. Uh, I can help you if you want. Yes, you can. <laughs> Thank you so okay. much for, for taking you. time and uh, just, uh, you know, see you next time. Okay, dear. Thanks again. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Merci. Bye-bye.